Washington Station Network and also broadcasting on WBLZsports.com. I am your humble co host, E Glaze. And with me, as always, is his, is, is his headphones right? Is his headphones right? I'm being a team player today. <laughs> With your headphones right here? I'm being a team player today. <laughs> Make sure you know what's going on here. Hey, brother, what's happening? What's happening? I'm glad you're taking one for the team, man. I always take one for the team. I am a team player. Yeah, team player. I, I am a team player. Yeah. But I'm a diva also at the same time. <laughs> and, and I'm fine with that. You had to do both. I'm fine with that. Over there in the corner, uh, it's ca- camera's going to stand in today for right. right there. <laughs> got they got the headphones and everything. What's going on, Ghosts and family? We're good. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> We got a great show for you, though. It's Wednesday, Recruiting 101, and we got uh, someone from uh, Rutgers in the building, and the Atlanta Dream as well, Mati Ajuvan. Am I close? <laughs> no, that, was, that, was, that was all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I hear your name, like I said, we hear it on the last speaker when you go, Mati Ajuvan. That's trying to read it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. actually said it better this time than you did yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I think the more you say it, you got to keep going with it. I know who's going to do the intro then. <laughs> <laughs> say no more. I do, I do the, the fluffer, and then you bring the name okay, in. There, there you go. I got you. We're working like go. that. We're working My like guy. That. We got a great show for you guys today. Uh, we are, of course, got an interview uh, with Mati. Uh, we, we, so much about Mati that you guys going to learn today. You know, playing for Rutgers, coming from Jersey, mm-hmm. you know, and all that good stuff, and then getting to the... You know, playing overseas, all the stuff you do off the court. You, you got a lot of, you got a lot of things going on. Yeah, you know, <laughs> trying to make a little difference. Around <laughs> you. Oh, okay, I want to. I ask my question later. Yeah, 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 yeah that's question yeah, later. I do want to know if uh, New Jersey Drive was was real. You know, I get that question all the I time. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. All the time. All the time. We about to get it for real today. <laughs> <laughs> Like, or they just faking in that movie? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going to learn about that. What else we got for today, Macy? Up oh, man. So, you know, of course, we're going to talk recruit. We're going to talk about Matisse's process, how she ended up at Rutgers. She, she went to a famous high school, then she went to Rutgers, and she played Final Four and that championship game. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about that, all man. That, all that, all that. All that. Uh, shout out to Kenyatta Watson, True 19, True, True 20, True 20 uh, this weekend. True 20. It was crazy. The parents and athletes who... Kept grabbing me a lot. Hey man, when I'm be on the show, the coaches when I'm be on the show. So I mean, we, guys, we're making an impact out here, continuing to tell these parents what's real about recruits. Because right. I mean, you know, parents get out y'all feelings about somebody else's child's recruiting process. You can only worry about your own. You can only worry about your own. So we're gonna talk about that, man. Of course, we got Wendy's wisdom and something we're gonna do different today. We're getting so close to the season now. I get crazy texts, inbox messages all day, every day about the process. So we're gonna answer some questions on air. Okay. So I mean, you know, a lot of crazy questions, but I mean, the parents want to know. So we're gonna give them the truth. Give them the truth, man, because that's what we do. Got to give them the truth. I mean, this crush intro is brought to you by Hardwork Apparel. Hardwork Apparel was designed to unlock the psychological elements of dry desire and determination. That's the three D effect, which is necessary to push the body and mind to its optimal level of performance. Once you wear Hardwork Apparel. You will simply feel obligated to work at a high level. Please visit www.hardwork.com. That's H-A-R-D-W-R-K.com for more information. And what's the motto, Macy O? Oh, Lord, hard work ain't easy, man. Ooh, like that pool workout today. Oh, God. Hard work Again, ain't easy. Today? Back, we in the pool all week, you say. Hard oh, work ain't easy. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, man, we're going to do our crushing interview. Stay with us, Sister Crush. Station, station, wealth nation, collaboration, celebrating seven years going hard in always radio. The Go Hard, Go Home Summer Series returns and kicks off at Red Martini Lab. July 6th with multi platinum selling artist Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker performing all those hits with the celebrity red carpet brought to you by The Hype Magazine. It's no, no limit, 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 limit. The Hype Magazine, Wealth Nation, and Sensation Station Network celebrating seven years goes all July 6th at Red Margin Live. Tickets only $10. Get more info at SSNATL.com. I know you got a man and all. One in seven Americans will struggle with addiction during their lifetime. Want to know how you can help? Go to heretolisten.com for tips and tools to help turn addiction around. 
A public service announcement brought to you by the Ad Council. Adopt US Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie, this is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before you get married. C, take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve. It's now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D, help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit adoptuskids.org. A public service announcement from the US Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids and the Ad Council. Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player and father of five. I'm also an expert on drama. There's a the good kind that comes with having a house full of kids, and there's silly drama like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. That's finishyourdiploma.org. And lead the drama to actors like me. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. I'm Fred Kalil of CBS 46 Sports. You're listening to The Crush on the Sensation Station Network. Going to the crushing interview brought to you by ORC Software. The ORC team is committed to providing full life cycle support for developing, testing, and delivering market driven products. ORC's model is when a customer engages one of us, they engage all of us. Go to ORC.com, O R A S I.com for more information. Maceo, please introduce our guest, Mati Ajivan. Okay, you're going to say that again, too. <laughs> uh, she was the fifth overall draft pick in the 2008. WBA draft, so I consider her a lottery pick. That's, that's lottery. <laughs> yeah, she lottery. That's lottery. lottery. Man, she went to Malcolm X Shabazz she High School did. out in Jersey. Jersey, son. Out in Jersey, son. <laughs> Wonder if you know Fat Joe. Um, <laughs> also, a gold medalist, <laughs> man. Yo, you mean uh, Red Man? Oh, who up? Yeah, Red Red Man. Man. from uh, New York. He's he from New York. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought he was from Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, coming to the microphone. Who we got, guys? Mati Ajivan. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Mati, what's happening? What's going on, Mati? Nothing, Mateen? man. Nothing. Just in here. Yes, sir. Vibing with y'all. Hey, what's happening, Mati? Our folk. We talk about it, but playing in Jersey and playing for Rutgers. I want to start with this one. Mm-hmm. Playing for someone as esteemed as C. Vivian Stringer. And that Rutgers squad being to the final four, playing all that. Describe, talk to us about that time playing for Miss Stringer. Oh man, um, I love my um, four years of college. Like it, it was amazing uh, playing under a legend. Yeah, that was something that you know not too many people get to do. So I was very fortunate for that. Um, uh, loved every bit of it. It took a lot of hard work, um, right. you know, uh, for me to even be at this level. So, to you kids out there, like, you guys got to know that being a pro doesn't come easy. There's a lot of steps you have to take to get along. I mean, to it's to get that, a little bit of that, mm-hmm. you know. You know, mm. you guys see um, the the lights on and, you know, the fans. <laughs> and, but it takes a lot of hard work. And, you know, I was dedicated to my, I'm always dedicated to my sport. Now, let's talk about your process coming from high school to college. What what was your what were your choices before you chose Rutgers? You you guys know, I always tell people like my my choices and my whole process was like something that you guys are gonna like die at. <laughs> that's that's why we want to okay, hear. Okay, okay. So y'all brace yourselves. Here we go. All right. So uh, being from Jersey, um, you know, everybody already thought I was going to Rutgers okay. for some reason. Mm-hmm. And crazy thing about it was Rutgers wasn't my like in the, the choice of mine. Like wow. My top schools were LSU, uh, Maryland. Um, I didn't have a lot of schools that I even wanted to visit because I kind of knew where I wanted to go. You know, mm-hmm. nowadays, you know, a lot of kids, what they do is they'll go on all the trips and waste the coach's time, <laughs> waste the <laughs> university's time. Yeah, right, and right, they right. know exactly where they want to go. Right, right. You know, so for me, I knew where I wanted to go, which was at the time LSU. You know, um, wow. 
LSU uh, and Maryland were the two trips I took. So when it came down to it, actually, I take that back because I was in between LSU. But in my head, I knew I wanted to go there. But I was playing a little bit of the game because I didn't want to give it away right away. Right. 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 You right. know, right. you got to. Uh, really see if the school is for you so I chose to t- take my visit and um, I loved it when I went down there you guys also know Shaq is from North oh, so yes, yeah, yeah, um, he yeah. went to LSU and I was like yo <laughs> <laughs> that went high, yeah, yeah. I was like yo so you know it's about to be me and uh, Shaq um, <laughs> you know Love statues, the queen, yeah. statues up here you know so um, took my visit I loved it went to Maryland uh, loved that as well um, so Time for me to sign, right? Signing yeah. day. Ooh. All right. So my mom is in the uh, living room with me. I got two sheets. <laughs> right. Uh, first of all, LSU um, ended up pulling out because they felt as if, you know, I was taking too long to make my decision. Wow. So they ended up going with the guard that they knew for sure wanted to be One there. Be, okay. Okay. So um, now came me. Uh, making this decision of going to LSU, I mean of Maryland or Rutgers, right? Because now Rutgers is in the picture. So now they yeah. jump in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I went. I actually took the trip to Rutgers. I loved it. Yeah. Like I actually really liked it. Like really loved Coach Springer. The whole family oriented atmosphere. It was. I had an amazing time. So Rutgers was in the picture, but I was like, <sighs> you know, at the time I had a high school coach that. You know, uh, got shot uh, right there in Piscataway, and Piscataway is right there at Rutgers. Wow! So of course I wanted to get away. So it was a hard right. move for me, a hard decision to make. So I had Maryland here, Rutgers here, my mom here, <laughs> 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 my mom right here. So I'm like talking to my mom back and forth. I'm like, mom, like you know, I don't want to go to Rutgers. Like you know. She, my high school coach name was uh, Shani Baraka. Right. You, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with. Legendary. Yeah. Okay. So when that happened, I was just, you know, in a different headspace. I didn't want to go to Rutgers. So I had, like I said, I had Maryland and uh, Rutgers. My mom was like, so you guys know I'm from Liberia. Right. Originally, I was right. born in West Africa. So <laughs> my mom was like, oh, my middle name is Baby Love. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. So my mom was like, Bill off. You're not going to that school. I have. I don't know that people. I, you're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> <I love> you. <laughs> you know? She's like, you, I'm not signing no letter to go there. I'm like, Ma, I don't want to go there. You know? Um, I love it down in Maryland. It's away from here. It's away from Piscataway. I can't be in that space. It's too close to that, to yeah. home. So she was like, no, no. It's not too close to home. I'm right here. I'm like, ma, not close to home like that. My heart. <laughs> <laughs> close to my heart. She like, oh, oh, okay. But you're still not going there. So long story short, my mom made the decision for me. Wow. And made me go to Rutgers. We're going to talk more about that. Yeah. After the <laughs> wow. Yeah. Decisions. We're yeah. going to talk more about that. Stay yeah. with us, Mr. Crush. Wow. Leaders aren't born, they're made. And not just anywhere, they're made in special places by special qualified trainers in places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world make a positive change in yourself and the world go to academy of creative coaching I am an american soldier i'm a warrior and a member of a team i serve the people of the united states and live the army values i will always place this first i will never accept defeat i will never accept defeat i will never quit i will never leave a fallen comrade i am disciplined i am disciplined Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior task and drill. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. 
I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. There's strong and there's army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. You know you're listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the it's crush. It's the SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, my T didn't have the key. <laughs> <laughs> her mama had the key. Her yeah. mama had the key. Her mama Definitely. said, made a scholarship alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. One thing you ain't doing is yeah. going to uh, just... It, that story is in itself because we we talk about recruiting and everybody talk about signing day, mm-hmm. and that was your signing day. You had, and we talk about scholarships being pulled, you know, and mm-hmm. happens. Some school like happens. Right, take a time. Like we want a commitment now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you don't commit now, we're gonna go give it to somebody yeah. else. Hindsight twenty twenty. What are your thoughts on your process and, and where you ended up? Oh man, my mother made the best decision of my life. <laughs> <laughs> she made the best decision of my life, and you know I tell her that now. Um, as a kid, you know we see what we want to, and um, you know parents sometimes have the key. Right, right. You know, and the pen. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, it was the best decision because I loved my four years. I learned so much from being at Rutgers. Um, it molded me into the person I am today. Mm. Uh, that's a pro, awesome. <laughs> first and foremost, um, uh, a, a great scholar, mm. um, responsible, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, so I commend my mother. I commend the Rutgers program, Vivian Stringer, uh, for, you know, allowing me to be a part of that program. Wow. Now, what's crazy is you guys make this incredible run your senior year. It was my junior year. It was your junior year. My junior year. Junior, you yeah. guys played for the national championship. Yep. Talk about your run through the Final Four. Oh, man. It was something that a lot of people didn't expect from us. Right. Uh, I didn't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even it started at that win against Duke. Yeah. You guys remember that? Yes. that uh, what was it we won by? Uh, two, one point. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, what was her name? Um, she ended up missing uh, both free throws. Mm. You know, so wow, yeah, it started there. there. Yeah, it started there. <laughs> then we went on to the final four and you know, played actually I think after that before that or after man, it's been years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting old, y'all. But um we went to the final four, played against L S U you know, and then we ended up playing uh Tennessee in the championship game. And, you know, though we didn't win, it was just, you know, something that brought a lot of attention to our school. Yeah. To us as um, girls um, as a program and it was something that we all wanted for Coach Stringer so. if I'm not mistaken that was Pat's last one Pat final Pat Summit last championship yeah. was it? I yeah. think that oh, was the last yeah. one she won because yeah. she beat C. Vivian I remember yeah. when they played because yeah. your, your team was that uh, that controversial squad that, yeah. That, yeah yeah with Imus yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 they, they yeah. got yeah. So they, and that's what I want to talk because the, y'all basically got done Iman's fired yeah. because of the way he got himself fired yeah. from Wait, well, before we get into Iman's I definitely want to you know um, give a shout out to the Lake and Great um, um, Sue I mean not Sue uh, Pat, Pat, Pat sorry yeah. mm-hmm. to Pat mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. I think today marks the one year yeah. and yeah. her mm-hmm. of her so it's yeah, funny so. when you brought up the story like yeah, that's yeah, that, 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 yeah. that was the team yeah. that basically you know he, like, dude, yeah. really? Like those those yeah. people daughters in yeah. that in that locker room yeah. that you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean that whole situation with Imus, you know, it was unfortunate that that was the light shone on everything right. that right. happened and um, you know, uh but you know, it was definitely it was definitely a situation that brought up conversation right. and um controversy that needed to be talked about. Yeah. So um You were one of the ones that spoke, right? I spoke briefly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I spoke briefly. Um, yeah, I think one of my teammates, Essence Carson, she yeah, was like Essence was there too. Yeah. yeah. But, she was and, and that, that that's why that run was so memorable with about you guys was not only that y'all made it to the championship game, but because of the controversy, the controversy and all of yeah. the stuff that yeah. went around it. But also being a part of the Pan American Games in 2007 to win a gold medal. Mm-hmm. She got a gold. She got a yeah. gold. She got yeah. a gold. And I got that with um uh Dawn. Shout out to um South Carolina. Yeah. He was coach my coach. Stout. Yeah. Amazing coach. That run. Just yeah. getting that and getting the gold medal. How was that for you? It was a great your career experience. is your college. You've been doing some things right here. <laughs> yeah, it was you a great with it. it was a great experience, man. Great coach. Um 
you get to travel, of course, see yeah. the Brazilian culture. Yeah. Uh, we was in Rio. We got to see baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Up there at the top of the hill. Just, yeah. just like, see. come. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it took a lot to get up that hill to yeah. see baby Jesus. I was, like, I was like, hold on. I don't know if we're going to see baby Jesus man, today. I might have to see the real Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait my turn. We'll, we'll, all right, we're about to take a break. We'll be right back. Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com. That's michaelmcfadden.com, and let Truisms help you to the next level it's a sensation station wealth nation collaboration celebrating seven years going hard in always radio the go hard go home summer series returns it kicks off at red martini lab july 6th with multi-platinum selling artist silk the shocker silk the shocker performing all all hits with the celebrity red carpet brought to you by the hype magazine it's no no limit 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 the hype magazine wealth nation and Sensation Station Network celebrating seven years goes all July 6th at Red Martin Live. Tickets only ten dollars. Get more info at SSNATL.com. I know you got a man and all. Y'all, what's up? This is your girl Erica hanging out with Maceo and Glaze on the Crush Sensation Station Network. We're talking about that NFL on Tuesdays. That's right. Go Falcons. Hey, yeah, we're back. Still doing our crushing interview brought to you by Oracy Software, Mati Ajavon. And, and Mati, like Maceo said, you was a lottery pick in our opinion. We got drafted, fifth pick. Was that a dream of yours to make it to the WNBA or were you just. School, school, but then you like, when did you know that you can get to that level? Um, I think I always knew, mm. um, and I always worked towards that. Um, as a kid, I used to watch the WNBA on TV all the time, and the funniest thing about it, um, I think I was about uh, 10 or 11 when my mom bought me a basketball doll, you know, um, and it was a little black basketball doll. I'm like... I'm like, mommy, I'm like, what kid is this? <laughs> I'm like, oh, who are you buying this for? Yeah. But I really didn't care for Barbies, but because it was a bar, uh, basketball Barbie. Right. You know, by the, by the third week, her head was off, though. But, you know, <laughs> it, it was a nice little gift. <laughs> Ball, ball head Barbie. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Wow. But <laughs> I think I always knew. Um. I love watching basketball on TV, whether it was men's or women's. Um, I was one of those kids at the TV, like, Ma, I think the game come on at 2 o'clock. She's like, what game? You know? <laughs> you know, so. Uh, oh, mama was making yeah, it real. Yeah. Like, game. Yeah. And let, me, let me ask you this. I got to go on and sneak this in real quick. Kobe or LeBron? LeBron. Oh! LeBron. LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> No, LeBron, come on, man. LeBron, all day, LeBron. Why you keep doing that to yourself, man? All day, Stop LeBron. It. I don't know. I, I was getting this good vibe. <laughs> the way she was going with this interview, I was like, nah, it, nah. It, it's, it's Kobe LeBron over here. LeBron James. Yeah. <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, well, let me chalk up another law. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you do that, but he will keep it going. Oh man, going. yeah, that, 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 yeah, that, that, that hurt. But, <laughs> but my, my 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 real question: mm-hmm. you, you get drafted by the Houston by the Houston Comets, yeah. Then they have to fold the team, yeah. Championship squad, yeah. they had to end up folding. H- how did that make you feel? Um, I mean that team was legendary, right? Yeah. And you know, I was fortunate enough to play with Tina Thompson. Tina. You know, Tina was still there at the time. I had Mawada Mbika. Uh, she she used to play with L.A. back in the day. Um, I had Tamika Dixon. Mm. So, you know, even though it was the last year of that team, I got to come in with legends. Right. You know, so I was for sure blessed um, to be able to do that. So, also with that, you you played overseas as well. Yeah. And, and th- 
Talk about the grind of playing overseas and then coming back here and playing. I mean, that has to be a lot on your body because, you know, we see what Angel's doing, taking a year off because mm-hmm. – Olympics, overseas play and all that. That seems to be a lot because you ladies are year-round ball, it looks Definitely. like. Definitely. Um, it does, but uh, fortunately, fortunately enough, we have trainers. Uh, we have top-of-the-line trainers, especially here in the States. It is difficult at times overseas to get quality trainers. Oh. Um, but, you know, like you said, it's a grind. Um, you gotta. It's at a point where you got to learn how to take care of your own body. Your body mm-hmm. has to be your priority. Right. So, um, yeah. You hear that? <laughs> yeah. She always yeah. be looking at the child with them bands pre game. She was, Oh yeah. Why those, are they using those bands? Yeah. I'm those like, bands are important. I know you still got all your cartilage right now, but those wait. bands <laughs> 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 Those bands are important. I when we come back, ice. <laughs> oh yeah. When we come back we're gonna jump into some dream talk, talk about what's going on and what we can look forward to this weekend. Stay with us, sister crush. Marie Callender's knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all-white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special. Sit down and savor. Marie Callender's. It's time to say Major Key Alert. Life is like school. You will be tested. So pass it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie. This is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before you get married. C. Take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve. It's now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D. Help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. I'm Paul George of the Indiana Pacers. When I was six, my days were spent playing basketball. When I was six, my dream was to make it to the NBA. When I was six, my mom had a stroke. So I want you to learn to spot a stroke fast. F-A-S-T. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. I'm Paul George. Spot a stroke fast. Visit strokeassociation.org. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association and the Ad Council. This is Robert Hicks, ex-NFL football player and actor with the blind side, and you're with the crush at ssnatl.com. Sensation Station Network. Hey man, uh, we just learned that uh, some shoes are a little too buckier than the other. Huh? So didn't know that, but you got to look at the athlete before you buy. Him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of ankle problems. That shoe gonna be pretty thick. So we're still here doing our question interview with T.I. Javon, and we are just talking about it. And, and we're gonna talk about the dream. You've been with the dream since 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, playing for Cooper. How is that playing with Coach Coop? Oh, Coach Coop is intense. Um, he's a great coach. Um, you know, uh, he definitely knows basketball. Yeah. Um, but it's been an amazing ride. Who is worse on the side, him or Carlene? Oh, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey Car- 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 be calm. Coop be ready to get on somebody. Hey. Yeah, he, he got up on that bitch fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey, I think Coop be thinking he playing sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, he be ready to roll them long socks up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you see what he crosses on, Macy, I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he, well, he snatched that board. Yeah. yeah. He snatched Coop, that board. Coop is always ready. Yeah. And it always seemed like he be ready to get uh, Tiffany Hayes. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he be ready. Like, every time Tiffany do it, like Tiffany try to take that long walk. Yeah, she yeah, won't he, he know how to cut the cut off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that defense on him. Yeah. <laughs> but, but one thing I did notice, I guess because he was a guard, he really rides you guards a little bit harder. I mean, yeah, I mean, he, he rides everybody, though. Oh, you know, okay. He, he expects greatness from each one of us. So, you yeah. know, he's, he's definitely tense. 
So after that long road trip, we're Ooh. about five and six right now. Yeah. Uh, what are we looking forward to to get you know back on track and getting in the team? Well, well you know, because we got got the Sparks coming back. I'm sure they're going to want to come back for a little revenge. Yeah. And we got definitely. Liberty on Sunday. Sunday. What can we look for? A win, you know, and nothing less. You know, that's what we prepare every day for. Uh, we don't prepare to lose any games. Yeah. Um, that's our mentality. So. We're definitely going to be ready. Look, quietly, we own the Sparks. Quietly. I, I can say that. You know what I said, but <laughs> yeah. quietly. We're we going to say that. Yeah, we done beat them up. We done beat them up a couple of times that I came here. So. Hey, but the Sparks are definitely, uh, you know, one of those scenes. I mean, they're the, the rain and change. Right, so. right. You know, we we definitely get up for them. Now I want to talk about how much uh, we know that road trip was long, but you guys social media, you look like y'all did have a little fun mm -hmm. being on that long road trip. The team dinners, how how good was that road trip for just the camaraderie of the team? Oh man, it's amazing because um, I would say we're a pretty tight knitted team, mm -hmm. um, and on teams sometimes you know everybody don't particularly right. right. You know, right, like to hang out with each other, but I would say we're tight and we love being around each other, uh, and that's one of the things that actually makes successful teams mm. sometimes, you know. Um, so yeah, I love our relationship, that's awesome, that's awesome. Yeah, but T, one thing that you, you want to ask you about you do something with a program, I want you to talk about it where you try to help athletes in college to play overseas, yeah. What is that program called? And, and talk about it a little okay, bit. Okay, so my company, I just started, Ajavon Elite. Um, it's actually AEBT, Ajavon Elite Basketball Trainer. Um, so it's like a, it's under the umbrella of everything. Training, uh, whether it's the youth up to pros. Mm -hmm. um, and I also put together a team, try to put together a team this year um, where I I can get girls, whether you play D1, um, D2, D3, I don't care, um, any players, um, <laughs> to come out and try out for a team where I can be able to take them to Poland. I played in Poland, so I have great relationships with the coaches, the teams out there. So I'm just trying to provide an opportunity where I see isn't being pushed in, you know. Um, so I'm just trying to help the girls uh, and – Give them an opportunity to possibly play in the WNBA, you know. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that yeah. Awesome. What's yeah. the What's the toughest part about being overseas playing? The toughest, I mean, I think it's not seeing your family. Mm. Um, uh, I would say uh, last year, I probably saw my mother the total total of maybe five times, like eye to eye. Yeah, right. the same lady who didn't let me sign that sheet. Right, <laughs> you know. Did she remind you? I've only yeah. seen you, but so yeah. many times. <laughs> yeah, and so you know, I only got to see her a couple of times, but I think that's the toughest part. But it there's a lot of positives to it. You get to, of course, make money playing a sport that you love. Right. Um, you get to see beautiful countries. You get to meet new people. You right. get to. Uh, meet people who play the same sport as you but don't necessarily speak the same language but basketball has its own language so it's many times where we could go on the court and not say anything but the basketball language speaks for itself pick and roll is a pick and roll yeah. pick and roll is a pick and roll no matter you what know? so it's an amazing experience and this is why I push for Ajibana Lee because I will want every girl to experience this alright we're going to do one more second Okay. We'll get back, Wendy. I know you got a question over there. I don't <laughs> think you're gonna just sit over there. I'm, how, how you gonna let us slide out the hot seat? We about to do the hot seat. We come right there. Hey, thank you. That's why you over there, man. Thank you. <laughs> Major key alert. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it. So make it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. Hey, guys. It's your girl, Brenna B. I want to tell you about something pretty amazing. My friends over at Buckhead Laser Lipo have an option for you. You want to lose those inches? You want to get in shape? Spring is here. Summer is upon us. We have a way for you to lose those inches quickly. Immediately see results. 
$99 is your first treatment, no surgery, no pain, no downtime, just inch loss. Who doesn't want to be in shape for the summer? Buckhead Laser Lipo, 678-871-0097. BuckheadLaserLipo.com. Your health is at stake. Diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, inflammation, and joint pain, even weight loss. It's time to end your battle. The Abundant Life Movement is dedicated to the building of generational health by transforming your water with the power of alkaline to improve hydration and fight against acidic and unhealthy conditions in the body. Here's a testimonial from Linda Rogers Brown and Pamela McMillan. 2011, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had no pain and no symptoms associated with that illness. It's a silent killer. I was introduced to Extreme X2O alkaline water and within two days of drinking it, I was off all my pain medicine and now we're six years strong, no chemo, no radiation, no cancer. I am a three-time cancer survivor. I was born with thyroid cancer. By being on the alkaline products allowed me to be able to cope currently with colon cancer. Now I'm able to function and be more mobile within three days of being on the product. Extreme X2O. When the water you're drinking is damaging your health. Extreme X2O. For more info, Abundant Life Life movement.com or call 910-527-2260. JBT 700 Miami Circle 30324. It's not a chain. It's a chain reaction. Invest $49 a month at a real gym. For more info, go to facebook.com forward slash jeans body tech. Hey, Crush fans. I'm Taisha Fernandez. You're listening to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. So the hot seat hotline. Four, three, two, one. Oh man, it's that time, man. We will throw Matee in the hot seat and throw some questions at you real quick, so okay. you can do some quick response. It may still start it off, man. Your favorite shooter hoop in at high school? Um, probably some J's. Some J's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. The worst pronouncing of your name you've ever heard. Matai. <laughs> Matai. Hey, overseas they be like, uh, Mati Iowa. Hey, so you doing that? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you doing that? Yeah. What's your favorite favorite food overseas? Overseas, oh man, uh, in Turkey they have this rice. They're the way they prepare their rice, amazing. It's called pilaf, so it's so good. So probably rice. Mm. Rice. It's I had so to ask, good. How many languages do you know? No, like full out. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> and you just make it overseas, just, right? You're like, hey, I just hey, text that like deuce. <laughs> so hey, it'd be like be like loving basketball. Get Monica the ball. Get Monica right, the ball. Right. <laughs> the science behind wearing number ten for the dream. Uh, the number 10 I actually was number 22 mm-hmm. Before right. And I switched to 10 Because of my high school coach Shani Baraka wow. She was uh, She went to Johnson C. Smith okay. mm-hmm. In North Carolina so, yeah. North Carolina So yeah She wore number 10 One of the best numbers Ever in the world Yeah So yeah Yeah, yeah. yeah. I dig it Do you ever <laughs> laugh Thinking about LSU And not Not coming to that school Do you ever say uh, <laughs> I went to the final four <laughs> <laughs> I mean Things the ball rolled that high was supposed okay, to, you know. Right, I'm just so, saying, yeah, they're gonna great program. My yeah, great po- program. <laughs> Winters in Jersey, rough, <laughs> <laughs> cold. <laughs> you be like, <laughs> yeah, it's cold. It's cold in Jersey. The one WNBA player that just give, gave you trouble when you had to guard him. Um, when I had to guard him, um, probably uh. Maya Moore Maya Moore is just All around Just <laughs> Everything Like she's so nice to me You yeah. know Like not nice Like hey Matilda How you doing yeah. <laughs> No no You know, we like, know what nice She's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. nice Yeah, yeah. But a she's a nice. Yeah great player Yeah Um Yeah Your WNBA rookie moment Um Hmm Let me see Y'all, y'all got me going to the archive <laughs> 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 Rookie moment Um I think uh, me and Mawada Mobika, because mm-hmm. Mawada Mobika, uh, she's from Congo, and she was the one that I used to watch. Like, oh my God, is an African player who played in the WNBA. So I always wanted to be just like her. She was my favorite player growing up. Cool. Um, so meeting her was like, 
a surreal moment for me. I'm gonna steal this question from Maceo. Is New Jersey Drive real? Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> you know what? That's a question I still question myself because, <laughs> hey, it it happens over there in Newark. So, um, <laughs> but Roz Baraka, shout out to Roz. Um, he's doing a great job of um, yeah. you know keeping things. Real low. On, on the low, yeah. 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 On the yeah. low. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Do y'all want a Benz? Okay, kick him sorry. <laughs> Being a professional, who's the one person that you've met and you was like, wow? Mm. The one person that I met that I was like, wow. Oh. Mm. Basketball, none basketball. Yeah. 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 Um. Damn, I'm. Uh. <laughs> LeBron James. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, Lebanon! Yeah. Uh, John, yeah. <laughs> probably LeBron. He's, he's one of them. What's that? What's that jam that's bumping in your car right now? Mm, right now, what am I listening to right now? Um, see, I'm like a huge music person, so I'm like for sure waiting for Jay Z to drop. And where, where he dropped? So he's like a couple of days huh? But yeah. it's, only, it's only gonna be on the Sprint though Sprint and uh, I don't get I got T-Mobile But I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get it you getting that Yeah J. I'm gonna get that J yeah. um, But right now um, I listen to a lot of Motivational speak, speakers So probably Eric Thomas Or um, E.T. Uh, uh, E.T. be getting busy Yeah bro. he gets he, He's an amazing speaker He scared me yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, I, his voice, I had to jump out of bed. Yeah. Like, Look yeah. at my three miles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a man that been through some things, man. Right. Yeah. Right. So he definitely gets me hyped. Yeah. Well, we're about to come right back, finish up with my T, Ajivon. Or how did, he, how did they say he, it? My T, Ayawa. <laughs> Ayawa. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Major Key Alert. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. My savings are gone. Okay, where were they last? Here, right before I spent them on that vacation to Aruba. Weird. Not weird. Not saving now means no money later. For free ways to save, go to FeedThePig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. It's a sensation station, Wolf Nation collaboration, celebrating seven years going hard in Always Radio. The Go Hard, Go Home Summer Series returns and kicks off at Red Martini Lab. July 6th, the multi platinum selling artist Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker performing all of his with the celebrity red carpet brought to you by The Hype Magazine. It's no, no limit, limit, limit for The Hype Magazine, Wealth Nation, and Sensation Station Network celebrating seven years goes hard July 6th at Red Martini Lab. Tickets only ten dollars. Get more info at ssnatl.com. I know you got a man and all. This is Bobby Yala from the Ohio State. I'm kicking with the crush on Sensation Station Network. Hey, we're back. So I want to see if our special correspondent got a question for you, Cameron. You got a question for Mati? Nope. <laughs> no. No questions. Hey, she always got the questions on the court. So That's what I'm saying. She gonna be ready to go to court. Over. Yeah, she get a pass. Yeah, not right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she ready. You ready? She's so shy, Agnes. Sometimes. So, where can they find out more about what you're doing and some of the things that you? I know you got your, you, you know, your Twitter and all that. Because you don't like to tweet a lot. You sure? Yeah, don't. I, don't. I yeah. don't. I gotta get more busy with that. Yeah, um, yeah. Get I don't big. even put a lot of stuff on Instagram. Yeah, know? yeah. We figured that out today too. I saw your Instagram. Yeah. I saw 2016. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> what you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting better though. Um, <laughs> so you guys can follow my main page, um, Ajavon to you too, um, on Instagram, and um, on my other page for my Ajavon Elite and everything that I'm trying to do with um, the girls and the athletes. Um, you can follow it Ajavon at Ajavon Elite. So yeah. Real quick, since this is Recruit 101, what would be some of the advice you would give kids today who are trying to make that, their choices in recruiting? What's some of the, the advice you would give them? Do what's best for you. Go with a coach that – go with a program because uh, you with the coach comes their coaching style, um, and that's just basketball. With your education, whatever it is that you want to pursue, make sure you're serious about that, that you're able to get access to that. So – 
be true to yourself and really sit down and talk to yourself and make sure this that the school that you want to go to is the right school for you. Right. Don't do it for social media. No. Yeah. Don't do it for the gram. <laughs> don't do it for the gram. Yeah. Because cause you got to go to class. The gram know how to go to class. Yeah. And there's a lot of the the unfortunate thing about today is, you know, it's a lot of transfers going on, you know. So mm. it's like. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm saying these kids really have to own in on what they want to do. See, we you know? a professional told you. I got a professional. Yeah, I mean, son, hey, I don't listen to us yeah. all the time. Listen, <laughs> a professional just told you, man, yeah. don't do it for the gram yeah. and social media. Say so something. just thinking about the kids See out this. there, what advice would you give to your younger self? My Looking younger back. self, mm, um, probably the same advice. Um, you know, I'll say, you know, Mati, don't play with LSU. If you want to go there, tell them. Okay. You know, if that's where, um, you know, you feel like you'll get the best, go there. But um, I, I, I'm in between because hindsight, my mother made a great decision for me. I thought me. you were going to say, right. make sure you listen to your mama. You know, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, with the kids now, I say, you know, be true to yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, be real with yourself. So. Real quick. And then my other question is, talk talk to the kids about what it's like to live a day of like what your workouts were like and and, yeah. and you know because I think kids don't realize everything that it takes like, to like, be successful. They, they see the bright lights. I can just go and they see the bright lights, right? Yeah. And they think, oh, I'm just gonna go and play in this game, but it, they they don't realize all the other um, what preparation, you had to go through. what you mm-hmm. had to go through, or what mm-hmm. any other player that did make it had to go through to get themselves to that point where they were even able to make it. Mm-hmm. So for us, of course, we already know that there is no off season for us, um, literally. So you always have to stay sharp you always have to get better within season um and there are athletes who don't go overseas so their preparation like this past winter ended up coming home early so i prepped for training camp michael cooper's training camp at that (laughs) starting in january you know i started in january and it's the same thing with the nba players they're out of season uh what april uh well, what they they just finished up? They so June, June, but yeah. So June camp, and can't be right back in October. Right, yeah. LeBron was in the gym the next day. Yeah, right. after the championship game, so was um, what's the guy from um Golden State? The, so it's yeah. like the pepper your preparation is what keeps you in the league. Um, I've been in the league for ten years now. Double so digits. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I've been in the league for ten years, so I, I have to be doing something right, and that's taking care of your body. It came later in my career where I realized that my eating habits had to change. Um, mm-hmm. I am meat free. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm a pesca- I'm actually a pescatarian. So, um, you know, you have to that's, watch. That's the path I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. So, pescatarian, I just eat seafood, um, mostly salmon. I'm a salmon girl. Probably every day. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of vegetables, a lot of water. You have to drink a lot of water. Keep your body pure. Um, keep your skin clear. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just take care of yourself. You got to, <laughs> it's, it's all about longevity and playing the sport you love and making money from it. And that's the best part about it. You you doing, you playing a sport for that a you living. Love. Yeah, you're doing something you love. And Somebody want to give me coins to play basketball? <laughs> I like that. Like, give me coins? Yeah. Like, Word like, life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think it's an amazing thing. You just have to really key in to the sport. Well, Mati, we appreciate it. And thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. We'll see you. We'll cheer you on this year. Make sure y'all check out Mati. And uh, we got to get somebody ready to go overseas. Yeah, Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, you guys, uh, to people out there watching, make sure you guys hit me up. Um, My email is info at adjavonebt.com. Please reach out if you have any uh, girls who, you know, want to continue to. their career playing overseas let's do it and that's what's up hey man we're about to take some photos stay with us yep major key alert life is like school you will be tested so pass it learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com brought to you by get schooled and the ad council you use tearless baby shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes you make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. 
you make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen, even when he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home, walk, restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, God. Finding best potatoes for French fries. No! Russet, fingerling, Yukon <sighs> gold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org and the Ad Council. When it comes to saving money, don't act like a baby. Goo goo gaga. Be the boss and make a budget. I'm the boss, baby. You're the boss of me. I am the boss of you. Are not. M2. Are not. M2. <laughs> Need a little help? Aren't you going to do any work? I'm very busy delegating. Create a personalized savings plan. We can share. You obviously didn't go to business school. And get other tools and tips at feedthepig.org. Brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. It's a sensation station, Wealth Nation collaboration, celebrating seven years going hard in Always Radio. The Go Hard, Go Home Summer Series returns and kicks off at Red Martini Lab. July 6th, with multi-platinum selling artist Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker, performing all of his with the celebrity red carpet brought to you by The Hype Magazine. It's no, no limit, 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 limit. The Hype Magazine, Wealth Nation, and Sensation Station. Network celebrating seven years goes hard July 6th at Red Martin Live. Tickets only ten dollars. Get more info at SSNATL.com. I know you got a man and all. You don't usually get a stock tip from a 16 year old, but I'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock. It's called Better Futures, a stock for social change that's not about making money. Instead, you invest to help students like me go to college. This is beyond a simple donation. It's the opportunity for America to invest in its kids and take an active stake in the future of the country. The return on your investment isn't money. What you get back is knowing you protected our potential. So one day, that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers. People who can change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia, and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. I learn stuff every day, mate. See, on this show. That's the beauty of uh, having your own show, buddy. Hey, Crush Rundown brought to you by Cricket Wireless. Cricket has something epic for you. Get a free select 4G LT smartphone like a Samsung Galaxy Amp 2 plus a $50 bill credit when you switch. Cricket Wireless, something to smile about. Make sure I know we got a topic that you, we got to talk about this topic, man. Yes, Let's sir. that topic real soon, quick, sir. So, um, Levy Smith. Right. Uh, University of Illinois uh, head coach. He offers 10-year-old Bunchy Young. A scholarship. Now, Young will graduate in the class of 2025. <laughs> and, man, these offers to these That's kids, years, it's, 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 it's just getting ridiculous now, man. Uh, Levy, I'm, I'm not feeling this, Levy. A 10-year-old, you offer the scholarship? 10-year-old probably won't even be – he might not even like football right. by the time he gets to high school. 
You basing it off some little league highlights that you watch? You offering this kid a scholarship? Talk about it, Wendy. Man, if anything, he need to go get those kids. What's that show that come on Friday? Friday night tikes. Tikes, yeah. He might need to. Look. Come on, man. Yeah, ten, yeah, yeah. Ten in the class of twenty twenty five. Like, will you be coaching at Illinois in twenty twenty five? And that, and like you said, is this kid? This may not be this kid's only sport. This may not end up being the sport that he actually excels at. Right, right. So things may change for this child as well. What the grades look like though? At 10 you know years old, me. Yeah. It's in it matters because you know you can't come in my house with nothing. But listen, all A's. Listen. From from his footage, I'm not gonna get into that. Talk about it, Glaze. Talk about it, Glaze. I mean, right now, you're gonna start getting people in pre K at this time. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's the way it's looking. Yeah. I mean, you like you say, this kid might turn out to be a golf pro. You know what I'm saying? That might right. Be, he, he, and what are you teaching kids these days if you're gonna start off from in the fifth grade? Right. You're gonna tell them something that's just gonna it's already bad now for high schoolers with all these offers. Now yeah. you're gonna start doing fifth graders? Yeah. But you know what's what in yours? Like- fifth grade? Yeah, fifth, fifth grade, fifth grade. Yeah. But my thing is, it almost puts too much pressure on them to me. That, that's that's a lot of pressure on a ten year old to think that I gotta live up to this standard that you've given me because I've, I, I'm I'm one of the few chosen. So now I'm feeling like I've got to live up to this standard. It's a lot. It go it goes back to parenting and and as a parent. Keeping this process in perspective, one of the things that I, I kind of put out before the show, the biggest problem with recruiting today, um, parents and athletes worried about another kid's right. process. Right. You know, you look at like this week, the best of the best kids are out at the opening. All right. Those these kids, those are these kids are the anomaly when it comes to recruiting. These are your your super five star kids, your kids who got the hundred offers. Everybody recruiting process is not like that. And it's then, not. It's not like that. That's not reality in recruit. And how did you hear about it? Was that? I mean, I, I didn't get to see the stuff, but it was posted and stuff like. Yeah, so man, some, no, it's, somebody, it's out there. So obviously, somebody out there bragging about it. And if I'm, a parent, I'm hoping the parent is not going around saying, "My kid getting off us already." Man, you a little league. But just think what ha- what's happening now at his little league games. Now you got people trying to get on that team. All I know is I've everybody want to be on the same team. I've seen everybody at the game in the park who don't grow. Right. <laughs> It's a lot of wreck all stars. Yeah, a lot of wreck all Americans. Yeah. And, and the fact that you, uh, it was it was it was a conversation about it. And the fact that they actually had stats. Yes. For this, can like like who keeping stats in Little League right. to to that effect? How many times you walked around Mayfield? Man, when I was a fifth grade. I scored twenty two touchdowns. Listen, I had a daddy who didn't listen. <laughs> I couldn't do that in high school and college. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's perspective for parents The one thing and I see uh, our boy Kevin Smith chimed in Kevin Smith's son Highly recruited baseball player Committed to Missouri already This kid is in the lab Every day Where he just came back From playing A national tournament He back in the batting cage He back taking infield All right. Every day How much do you really want this? I think that's what Also concerns me too is I don't want that like Wendy was saying. I don't, I don't want that on my kid. I want my kid to enjoy his youth. Right. Play every. I want you to play ten sports. Let him be a kid. <laughs> you let know what them saying? be a kid. Don't don't force them into a sport that they actually could. You know, could be be doing all these other different. things. Don't do that to a kid. Right. Because at right. a time, man, you know, it's just just too young. And I don't know what level is he that desperate. Come on, man! <laughs> you got plenty of schools, high schools in America, man. You can I mean, give it, it, uh, you give, you give that to other people. Man. It, it's, it's sophomores and juniors you need to be <laughs> worried about. It's me. Not, it's not, ten, uh, yeah. <laughs> not not ten year olds, right, man? You got plenty of kids out there. You know, this, this is a big season at Louis, at, at Illinois. Let Levy didn't have the greatest of uh, seasons last year. <laughs> he need to be focused on a kid who can come in today. And help his program. Like, dog, Jeff George, son, is your starting quarterback. Wow. Yeah, let, let that man her name for a minute. Wow. So, you need to get out here and hit this recruiting trail hard. Wow. Hard. Stay focused. You better stay woke. <laughs> we'll be right back. Major Key Alert. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it. So make it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchooled.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. One in seven Americans will struggle with addiction during their lifetime. Want to know how you can help? Go to HereToListen.com for tips and tools to help turn addiction around. A public service announcement brought to you by the Ad Council. And so a new American industry has 
has been born. Sensation Station Network. Welcome to the second hour of the crush brought to you by the Car Football League. Registration is now open. The Car Football League provides high school, feeder youth, and football and cheer programs for kids in K through fifth grade, but they're not being recruited in Cobb County, Pawnee City, Pawnee County, Marion City, and Roswell City Schools. Go to CobbFootball.com for more information. I, I just, you know, we were just talking about that real quick. I, I just, we all have children. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? I mean, Wendy has a daughter who's probably closer to being. That's love because she swims and she swims good, but she ain't ready to be getting recruited yet. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's right. like, right? And that's you know that's a different sport. But when you talk about football, for and, and again for for this kid and, and for every sport, and that's why I put that coming out there earlier today. The biggest problem with the process, kids and parents focusing on the next athlete's process. So can you imagine everybody? Uh, what's this young kid's name? Bucci. Mm-hmm. He's at the pole. He's at summer practice now. Now every parent is like, "Well, what did y'all do to this? What did y'all? How did y'all listen? <laughs> y'all don't need to be at ten years old. Y'all need to be worried about that. Not at all. So many things can happen between this kid from fifth grade to middle school till he gets to high school. So many different things can happen, and that's what people don't understand about this recruiting process. Each story. Mati just told a, a totally different story from everybody else. Exactly. Everybody's process is going to be different. So we have to stop worrying about what Johnny is doing yeah. to get recruited, what 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 Susie is doing to get recruited. They're different. Everybody's a different athlete. Because what did she say? <laughs> you got to make that decision. Right. You don't, all the transfer, you, you don't want to be transferring. If you can do whatever you can at the transfer, don't transfer. And enjoy the process, man. I mean, and again, it's just crazy that we we have to say this over and over again. Like it's parents at the, at the true nineteen, true twenty trials. Some of the side conversations with the parents, and it's hilarious because it's like your child is different from this child, exactly. You know, and you have to focus on just your child's recruiting process because the steps that you're gonna have to take for your child are gonna be totally different from. This next parent, yeah. and it's for everybody, and that's the it's thing. for everybody. That's the thing. I mean, <laughs> can't enjoy it. But you know what was funny about what Matija said, though. That part that we always we always bring up, parent got to sign off on that. Man, that was huge to me. Come on, I'm not signing that paper. I'm yeah. not signing that. Yeah. I don't that's, know why that's out here on the table. Right. right. And I just thought about what she said there, Mace. You know, and and then we talk about the parent process so much. That matters as well. At the end of the day, Mama, we got to need you to sign that paper right there. And y'all yeah. sign off on it as well. But, yeah. Levy, you got more kids to worry about, man. Because you got, like you say, I forgot Jeff Joy's son was your quarterback up there. And it, Rob just brought up a point, too. You're talking about the uh, the the, the – Bringing up ballers, the, the basketball mom show. Time parents get scared that they aren't doing enough. Listen, that's why this this process is not an overnight process. Mm-mm. It's it's every every day, every month, every year, every season. It's a grind. Every day, yeah. Making sure that <laughs> putting my child in the best possible situation. But first and foremost, again, it start with the grades. It does. Like if we're not talking about his grades, his or her grades. We're not talking. Right. We're not talking. Come on, say. What is great? Well, he's he got the, he'll see student. Oh, we ain't talking. Yeah, I mean, now you can score all the touchdowns in the world. If you got a one point five, yeah. two point oh. Her grades had to be on point to go to Rutgers anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it ain't no small school. No, nah, you yeah. well, you're not getting a Ruck, Ruckers is a institute who really value a the higher, academic it's, piece. It's a it's a institute of higher learning. Very very high. <laughs> And she didn't have very this. high. All her school was good. LSU, Maryland. Right. There wasn't no small school. She, wasn't yeah, that was, she was getting it done. Yeah, the Liberians were. The what? The Malcolm Shabazz? <laughs> yeah, that's the what the Liberians don't Malcolm playing Shabazz there. High School. Yeah. So clearly it was a priority, but parents, I'm going to say this time and time again. Focus just on your child. You can't look at the child next door, the, the person who's sitting next to him on the team picture. Everybody's process is different, and you have to respect it as such. Focus on your process. Then you can't you can't hear all the outside noise Mm-mm. if you just focus on your process. And that's the big thing. Right. It's your process. your process. 
your process. Your process. I'm going to step away for the day because I'm going to leave it over to Wendy and Maceo. Yes, Wendy's wisdom when we get back. So she's going to take over. I'm going to see y'all guys next week. Uh, no doubt. I got my producer won't give me permission. I'm going to have to sit here and wait. <laughs> yeah, I guess. She said, You need permission slip. I, I got to get signature. I, look, I got to get mine signed off on. So, hey, man, stay with us. We'll be right back. It's a sensation station, Wealth Nation collaboration, celebrating seven years going hard in Always Radio. The Go Hard, Go Home Summer Series returns and kicks off at Red Martini Lab. July 6th, one of the multi-platinum selling artists, Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker. Performing all those games with the celebrity red carpet brought to you by The Hype Magazine. It's no, no limit, limit, limit for the The Hype Magazine, Wealth Nation, and Sensation Station Network celebrating seven years goes hard July 6th at Red Martin Live. Tickets only $10. Get more info at SSNATL.com. I know you got a man and all. One in seven Americans will struggle with addiction during their lifetime. Want to know how you can help? Go to heretolisten.com for tips and tools to help turn addiction around. A public service announcement brought to you by the Ad Council. So, I'm a dog, and I just got adapted by this new human guy, and I'm starting to wonder how he got along without me. I mean, okay, something as simple as walking around the block. He's got this leash thing, and he puts me on one end and him on the other, and I'm just taking him around. I, I think he's afraid of getting lost. Without that leash and me guiding him along, I don't think he'd find his way back home. But it's kind of cute. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the shelterpetproject.org. Y'all need anything else? Sensation Station Network. What's up? It's Garrison Hurst, University of Georgia. You're listening to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. Mike, we're going to talk about him in a little bit. Hey, it's about that time, y'all. Y'all know what it is. It's Wednesday. So we got to give you that wisdom. Wendy's wisdom. What's up, Wendy? What's going on? So today I want to talk to everyone about, you know, how to get in touch with a coach. Because that's the most asked question to me. You know, what? how do I get in touch with a coach to let them know I'm interested? And I'm, I'm I'm here today to tell you that probably the best way right now is through Twitter, okay? Because that's that's easy access. You can follow as many coaches as you like, and <laughs> I say go right ahead and do that. But on the other hand, remember if you follow them, they may turn around and follow you back. <laughs> oh, okay. So that means you need to be careful about what you are posting. And I'm gonna even go as far as to say using acronyms for bad words. Just don't even don't don't post those either because it's saying something about it, you it, and the person you right, are. Right. So be careful. Uh, be careful about what you're saying about other people on there. Be careful about what you are posting. Period. Doesn't matter. So the easiest way to get in co- um, contact with the coach is through Twitter because most of them all have it, if not all, have it on their phone. Right. That, that, that you know, social media is so popular right now. So that would be your your easiest way. Now, let me tell you, the best thing to do is go ahead and send them a DM. Mm-hmm. Okay, some direct, mm-hmm. you know, a direct message. Direct message. One one on one communication. And so, what I want to tell you is, go ahead and make sure that you are not arrogant when you sending them this message. Okay, be as <laughs> humble as you possibly can when you reach out to a this coach. Pro- this process is about humility, right? Um, and be respectful. Be respectful, um, and then respond promptly if you receive something back from a coach. Right. That's that's going to be important because if you if you reach out to them, then they turn around and reach back out to you, and then you don't respond to it. Well, you wasted your time. You wasted your time. Um, another thing is that. Don't blow them up. So if you send something and they don't respond immediately, man, these coaches out on the road. They got, they a, got a million people. Now, you're not the only person DMing them. Yeah. Okay, so make sure when you do send the DM that you're sending something newsworthy and worthwhile, so that they will actually look at it. I.e., your huddle highlight or a highlight tape. But 
if your highlight is not good for the first two minutes, then don't send it. You better put your okay. best play. Man, that put means your, your best very three first five play. plays up front. Yeah. Because after that, they're not watching it. But they don't have time to sit down and watch your 10 minute yeah. movie. They're looking, they looking for. Uh, they don't have time. They, have, they call them five clippers. Right. I need they, five they, clips. I need to know if you can play or not. And then don't immediately go in and ask somebody for a scholarship. <laughs> that's not what we're trying to uh, That is what we're trying to accomplish But that's not what you're trying to accomplish on the first time You That's like walking up to a coach Shaking their hand and saying Hey I need a scholarship Need a scholarship Not going to happen It's not going to happen Not going to happen So make sure that you don't do that And then this thing Just stay on top of all of it You know if you're doing this and you're DM, DMing coaches Make sure you stay on top of it Start with your position coach. Don't go straight to the head coach, first of all. Because right. usually your head coach or the recruiting coach is the one that in turn sends your information down when they sit in a staff meeting. Mm-hmm. Puts your information in front of somebody. So it's not that you always have to contact the head coach. There are other options and people out there on the staff that you can contact. So make sure you're looking through. Because usually when you pull one person, it gives you a list of other people right. that you might want, that you could follow. Right. And it's usually some more of their coaches. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that's just what I want to put out there. Because that is the big question these days. How do I get in touch with coaches? Coaches, how do I get on their radar? Start DMing them. Send them a link to your highlight. Ask some questions. Even if you just, hey, coach, just wondering, you know, what are, when are y'all gonna start your recruiting? You can just ask questions. Hey, man, listen. I got a lot of wisdom out of that. That's real talk, right there. It's the truth. Real talk, man. People ask me every day, every day, the same man, question. When will we be back? Some more recruiting one on one. Yep. Driving has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more tax-free driving tips, visit StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Hey guys, it's your girl Brenna B. I want to tell you about something pretty amazing. My friends over at Buckhead Laser Lipo have an option for you. You want to lose those inches? You want to get in shape? Spring is here. Summer is upon us. We have a way for you to lose those inches quickly. Immediately see results. $99 is your first treatment. No surgery, no pain, no downtime, just inch loss. Who doesn't want to be in shape for the summer? Buckhead Laser Lipo, 678-871-0097. BuckheadLaserLipo.com When it comes to saving money, don't act like a baby. Goo goo gaga. Be the boss and make a budget. I'm the boss, baby. You're the boss of me. I am the boss of you. Are not. M2. Are not. M2. Ah! Need a little help? Aren't you going to do any work? I'm very busy delegating. Create a personalized savings plan. We can share. You obviously didn't go to business school. And get other tools and tips at feedthepig.org. Brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com. That's michaelmcfadden.com, and let Truisms help you to the next level yo it's your boy michael mcfadden if you hear my voice right now that means you're tuned in to the crush on sensation station network shout out to them cowboys not for real maceo glaze what up hey we're back recruiting 101 the process what's your core gpa uh our next topic wendy so top running back recruit uh zaire's uh, Zaire White, Zamir White, he just committed to UGA. Yep. Uh, he's a top running back prospect in the country. On his mother's birthday. On his mother's birthday, one of the things he said made this process easier for him. They used unofficial visits. To so he took four unofficial visits to UGA. He took three to UNC. Then he took one to Alabama, Ohio State, and there's one more school that that was in the mix, but. Unofficial visits. <laughs> How many times have we talked about that? Oh, man. Again, so let's talk about it some more. 
You know, I think that's the best way to see what really goes on on a campus, to see if that's really somewhere you can survive with or without your sport. Um, that's the time that you can talk, you know, catch up with a football player, a basketball player, walk around campus and, campus and just ask them, you know, off the record questions. You're not with a coach. It's just so many options you have when you show up unofficially on a campus. And I'm sure they knew he was coming, but it was still unofficial, whereas right. they did not pay for right. it. They did not pay for that trip. But – I say, what what is my thing? Hey, if you are traveling with your family during the summer, stop by somebody's college campus. Right, right. Walk through. Right. One of the things his mom said, uh, they popped up twice at UGA. She pop up. And just wanted to see what happens. Because the thing they wanted to understand, can he survive in Athens on a daily basis if he's not playing football for any reason? That was one of their biggest points That's with, what I with, with, That's with what you recruit. Do. You have to. I mean, there's just so many unknowns when you're leaving off and going to college. Right. Um, like, for me even, I went to Georgia Southern. I hated it down there. That wasn't the school for me. <laughs> A lot of people love Georgia Southern. It right. wasn't for me. Right. You know, right. so I think had I taken some more visits, I probably would have known that because I would have seen that there was no mall and that I wasn't <laughs> going to be able to stay there. I would have known that. Yeah, and, and you see what I'm saying, but like, oh, no, but you know, that's what mattered to me. I needed yeah. a city, right? But there are things that matter for different people, and so you do need to go, and you need to go when they're not throwing everything at you, and, all the good and, things. And that's at what you. I was going to tell you. Your recruiting trip is going to be like it's glamorous. They they they, they breaking out all the flyness. Yeah. You you're going to see the best, and and. Listen, you're not going to go to any classes. That, that your recruit trip that weekend is about the facility. It's about college life. It, college life is it, it's, it's the other part right. of it. It's not, all the good things about all, college. All the good things about college. <laughs> not that classroom. Yeah, though. and more people. And it, it's funny. Everybody saw him commit, and everybody saw you know the hats and that, but nobody understands this part right. and why his family made it a priority to take on official visits. You they were to. like we're going to pop up on all of these campuses. They don't they not knowing she said one time when they were UNC, nobody knew they were there. I love it. They just walked around the campus cuz they wanted him to see what life is like as a regular student every day Parenting on that campus. At his finest. Parenting. Parent, and that's how many times can we say that about recruit? recruiting comes down to parenting? Yes, it does. And you know, parents must stay involved in that process. You must push your kids to go to on these visits unofficial. Um, you, you should push them to go on the official as well, right? But take as many you can, let me tell you, unofficial visits are unlimited. They the truth. They are unofficial and yeah. unlimited. You, <laughs> you better go on as many as you can. Show up at the college as many times as you can. Eat on the campus. Make sure you like the food. Is that check everything out? I'm trying to tell you. It's so many fact because nothing is worse than you getting on campus and then all of a sudden you say, "Well, you know what? This not like my recruiting trip." Right. Find that's, out what a Walmart is. That's always gonna be the case. Yeah, I mean, it's, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's just little things. How far is the Walmart? Because you may not have a car Might that first year. Car. So that means you want to rely on somebody to get you down there to get all those necessities. And, <laughs> you know, so those are things, like, you really don't think about. But all those things really matter. you just driving around the city, seeing where things are. Where, where's your favorite restaurant to go eat? Right. But, you know, where are all those things? Because that, that's going to make a difference in whether you're able to truly stay at that school and function outside of your sport. Can you survive without a footlocker? Where, where you gonna get your kicks from? Well, yeah, you know me, <laughs> but you know they got that Nike app, so everything can be delivered. <laughs> well, that's in today's time. But you know, but but you know, I think his parents did it. I think his mom did it the right oh, way. Did, it's just him it. and his mom, I think. So I think they did it the right way. Amen. She made sure that he was going to be able to make the best decision for him, which is what Matei just told us. Hey man, when we come back, Mate, man, Matei. We got some more recruiting one on one. Uncle Dan, Mom, Dad. If you store your guns properly, so not just anyone can get to them. I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. Safer when my friends come over. As your neighbor, I'll feel safer. As a school teacher, I'll feel safer. We'll all feel safer. 
Your family, friends, and neighbors are all counting on you. If you own a gun, you have a full-time responsibility. When you aren't using it, be sure it can't get into the hands of curious children, troubled teenagers, a thief, or anyone else who might misuse it. Remember, always lock it up. For more information on firearm storage safety, visit ncpc.org. This message brought to you by the National Crime Prevention Council, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Ad Council. I am an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place this first. I will never accept defeat. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies, enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. Major Key Alert. Life is like school. You will be tested. So pass it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. This is University of Georgia linebacker Demetrius Douglas. You're tuned in to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. Hey, we're back. Recruiting 101, the process. Hey, you know what? I'm, I, I want to read. I, I want to say um, I, I was reading more about Zamir or Zeus, Zeus as he's uh-huh. called his story. And I, I want to challenge all the parents out there to encourage their child to go out there and read his story. Right. Because it's actually a very amazing story. 100% of the kids at his school are on free and reduced lunch. Mm-hmm. So he's not coming uh, with from some place where he was able to give, everything was given to him. Right. He has had to work really hard for everything that has come his way. Um you know, it, just the odds from when his mom was pregnant with him. You all need to go out there and read this story read and story. understand what it takes to go out there and be what the, be what this kid is trying to be and do what he's doing. Because it does not come easy. Does not. None of this is easy. None of this, none of it is easy. But we digress. Yeah, right. So our next topic. They're not, not going to listen. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Talk to a couple of couple couple of college uh, coaches uh, over the weekend. Three words college coaches want to hear about an athlete that they are recruiting. The first word a couple of these coaches said, and you got to agree, they're looking for an athlete who is responsible. We have a college athlete on the panel here. <laughs> Kennedy, what's going on? What's good? What's good? I'm going to make fun of you now because every time you say something. Well, look, I, I didn't <laughs> use your uh, phrase today. Because it's mine. Well, it's not mine, but. It, it's yours. It's not. yours. <laughs> how, how, what does that mean for an athlete to be responsible? When your coach says you're responsible. Oh, responsible. I mean, that comes in many facets. I mm-hmm. mean, you can be responsible in communication, responsible in just be- making sure that you're taking care of yourself. Um, responsible with your studies. I mean, once you get to college, you I mean, you have a team, but you're also on your own. Like, right. you have to make sure you're doing what you need to do to play or you're doing what you need to do to stay in school. Like, it's all about making sure that you take care of your business. Like, what I, I like to do is make a checklist and make sure I get through everything I need to get through. Or did I go to this class and get this work done? Did I do this and do that? So, and making sure that I'm not only, not, like, in a sense, communicating with yourself, but then right. also making sure that you're touching bases with all the people you need to. So, making sure I touch base with my coach, with my captains, my teammates, my friends, you know? So, okay. Yeah. Wendy, when you hear uh, that word, a coach looking for a kid that's responsible, how do you see it? You know, I... I I get it. They, yep. I, they, I, they, I get asked that question quite often. Right. Um, and I, I start immediately looking, looking for kids that are, um, that want to even just take responsibility for their actions. Mm. Um, and I look at the kids and how they act 
on the field and when they're coming off the field. And I look, I look at that. I also look at kids, you know, and I, I, I tend to look at obviously classwork because um, I'm always watching grades and kids that want to be responsible for what they are doing in the classroom. Like, are you owning what you're doing? Right. In right. that classroom, on that field, off that field, are you owning everything? And that's what I look for when I'm talking when they ask me about somebody that's responsible. Because when I come to you and I have to talk to you about something that's going on, are you owning what I'm coming to you about? Because, like I tell kids all the time, when I come to you and ask a question, I already know the answer. Right. Please understand when I right. come and ask. Right. That's that mama in me. <laughs> I already know the answer, so don't start lying. Own it. That second word that coaches say they're looking for, uh, the athlete being accountable. And we're going to let that marinate because when we come back, we're going to let Kennedy talk about this second attribute being that college coaches, what they want to hear about when they talk to athletes and during this recruiting process. We'll be right back, man. It's the question. Green light. Hey girl, school zone. I'm getting hungry. Car changing lanes. You want to meet me for pizza? Stop sign. Intersection clear. Yeah, street. Pizza sounds good. Ball in street? Girl in street! (gasps) It's hard to concentrate on two things at once, like texting and driving. Stop the text, stop the wrecks. How will you stop texting and driving? Tell us at stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Marie Kellender's knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special. Sit down and savor it. Marie Callender's. It's time to say. Vince Lombardi once said that it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Some of us think that taking our lives to the next level, both personally and professionally, is a confusing and complicated process. Guess what? It's not, and I can prove it. My book, Truisms, will show you how living your life by rules that are so self-evident and obvious, you'll say, I knew that. This powerful yet short, detailed bestseller is on sale right now, under $10. Go to michaelmcfadden.com. That's michaelmcfadden.com and let truisms help you to the next level. If you're looking for that ratchet, you're in the wrong place. It's the nation's urban internet station, Sensation Station Network. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Killer Mike, Killer Kiev on The Veal. You're checking me out right now on the Sensation Station Network. Make sure you tune in, suckers. Yes, sir. We're back. We're talking about three words college coaches want to hear about an athlete they are recruiting. We just covered being responsible. Number two, the word accountable. Kennedy, you say you're tired of hearing this word. Yes. Why are you tired of hearing this word? Because it's something that my coach tries to put in the DNA of our team, um, especially as all of us are now young adults. Um, she wants all of us to be accountable, and it's hard because a lot of us have our own definition of what that means, and we kind of had to come to a consensus of what that means for each other and what that means to yourself personally and all that type jazz. So, I mean, every team meeting is about accountability, accountability. What does it mean to be accountable? And, I mean, it's just something that we talk about all the time. So I love it. <laughs> Talk about it. You know, I I do relate the word accountable to responsible. It's it's one of its synonyms. Um, but accountability, you know, again, ownership. You know, are you holding yourself accountable for everything you need to do to get you to the next phase? Are you are you making sure that you're putting effort in everywhere it needs to be? And I um, talk to people about this all the time. You know, to me, everything is about one hundred percent energy and effort. Mm. Right. I think accountability also is where expectation meets responsibility. Right. There's a certain level of like, there's an expectation for you to I do agree. exercise. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. And the third word that these recruiters love to <laughs> look at for these athletes, are they dependable? Are you dependable? <laughs> Clearly you are because you're still on the team. Talk about that word. Being dependable, I think they all go hand to hand. Mm-hmm. Like, 
honestly, being dependable, like you want to be that player that coach is going to go to for X, Y, Z. When it comes to if your team is down, are you that person who's going to have a positive attitude? When your coach looks at your grades, are they going to be where they need to be? I mean, I think being dependable is something that's like, it's just it's something hard to do because you have to be responsible and accountable and all those things. But like it's something where every time coach comes to you or every time your parents come to you or every time your teammate comes to you, you can be that person. And sometimes you're gonna fall, but like if you can maintain that certain level of making sure that somebody can come to you, like you're dependable. Like there's no there's no slacking on that. Like you got to be dependable. I love it. What you think about it, Wendy? So dependable, trustworthy, mm-hmm. reliable, mm-hmm. some of the same characteristics. Um, that Kennedy was just talking about, but I think you know, trustworthy. That that's big. That's big. Um, and that's and, big. and and coaches are looking for student athletes that they can trust, that they feel like will uphold their name because they put their name out there for them to be right. you know to be on that be recruited, to be given that scholarship, and also um, they're representing that university. Um, that college and so making sure that they are the type of student that is trustworthy and they know that they can rely on them Mm -hmm. to represent themselves their family the university the football program the basketball whatever sports program of that school well and up and uphold you know the things that they hold true and believe in for that particular program and 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 i think that's what coaches are looking for they don't want to be on the news every other week. Nah. You know, I, I always say this. What will your coach say about you? Like, if somebody pull up on you, if some if coach pull up on the program and he walk into the head coach office, what would that coach say about you? Oh, well, yeah, and, 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 and coaches today going to be honest because, again, I'm not going to co-sign you and have you you know, I'm putting my name on you and then you go to said university and then you act the donkey. Trying to tell you. I tell on the kid, I hey, they, they call me. I be like, let me tell you something. I ain't gonna co-sign on them. Maybe one of the coaches will, cause I'm like, you, I can't ruin my good name. Can't work. Can't, can't cause ruin next my good year name. when you come back, or two years from now when you come back and I'm still sitting in the seat, you're not gonna ask me any questions. You gonna bypass her cause she lied. Send me one bad seat and everybody <laughs> gonna be like, we're never going back to that school. Right. And man, when we come back, man, it's time to talk about shiny things. It's the crush, baby. We'll be right back. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids, like a stock? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in Better Futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. Major Key Alert. Life is like school. You will be tested, so pass it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. People been saying to your friend, get a different face. And posting on their feed, they're super. being bullied online you can be a witness and make a difference by letting the world know it isn't cool and by letting your friend know you care learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org brought to you by the ad council it's a sensation station world nation collaboration celebrating seven years going hard in always radio the go hard go home summer series returns it kicks off at red martini live july 6th with multi-platinum selling artist silk the shocker silk the shocker performing all those hits with a celebrity red carpet brought to you by the hype magazine it's no no limit limit for the hype magazine world nation and sensation station Network celebrating seven years goes all July 6th at Red Martin Live. Tickets only ten dollars. Get more info at SSNATL.com. I know you got a man and all. Hey, hey, in the house, what are you saying now? Sensation Station Network live with the Crush Sports Talk Radio Show. I am Derek Frazier. I'm with Big Emmanuel tonight. Y'all can forget about it. Yes, sir. We're back. It's the Crush Recruiting 101, the best recruiting talk in uh, the country. 
Yeah, I'm standing on the table for that. Believe that. I'm about to get on the table. Get on the table. Let, let's get on the table and talk about know. it. I'm gonna get on the table. Here, here we go. <laughs> so our, our next topic, and uh, this was part of my wide out segment on Monday. The millions and millions of dollars that uh, these college programs are throwing into the facilities mm-hmm. these days. Big money is being spent, and we always sit around and talk about how it's no way to pay the athletes. There's no way to do this and do that. Well, Clemson just sunk $55 million into a state-of-the-art practice facility. Right. I remember talking to their coach when he came to the school about the facility. For the kids. And this thing has a barbershop, has <laughs> laser tag, has, uh, has basically a, a golf simulator. So do you think... Just asking, do you think this is their way because they can't actually give the money to the kids? A way of saying, hey, we're going to offer you this. And, okay, wait, let me finish this. I'm not saying that this is okay or a substitute. That's my, um, that, I'm going to put that out there first. But do you think that this is the school's way of saying because we cannot do these things that we're going to offer this, all these nice shiny things to you to try and make you make you feel better about it? I'm just asking. No, I don't think so. So why you think they? And, and why, why everybody got to do each other? What? Be, because this is how you recruit the kids now. <laughs> right. This is the tool of recruit right. now. So every school you go to is going to be something unique and different. And that's why, like, say, if you've ever been to Clemson, I remember when they were they broke ground on this thing, mm-hmm. and now it's complete. Like I say, so the kids have a, it's, it's an indoor slide, it's a barber shop inside, it's a laser tag inside. They have simulated golf. These kids never have to leave the practice facility. Everything is there. Everything. All the money they pouring in. Oh, never mind. Right. No, look, never mind. Right. Now, and then we're talking about a school like Virginia Tech who has a 50,000 seat stadium. They just dropped $21.4 million on the indoor practice facility because now everybody has to have a practice facility. Well, Thing, I, I, I kind of get the indoor practice facilities in some locations. In some locations, mm-hmm. when it gets really cold, well, you play in the cold, so I guess. Um, oh, I was gonna say though, when it's really cold or weather conditions, now you still can get your practice in. Whereas, because it is an outdoor outdoor sport, you may not have necessarily been able to practice had you not had an indoor some type of indoor facility. So we're gonna give them that. So maybe that's that's what we're gonna go with. Nah. It sounds good. It sounds good, okay. but <laughs> because every other university has one, everybody says, well, "Now I have the, to get one." W- w- and now that we have a high school in Georgia that has one, clearly you got you, <laughs> have, to, you have to have one at the college. Uh, yeah, you have to. right. And then Oregon, you know, never to be outdone. Oregon dropped six, sixty-eight million dollars on a one hundred and forty-five thousand square foot Nike focused facility. That's what I'm talking about. Nike. I'm talking about and, and this is what people again this is it's aimed at recruiting it's aimed at recruiting but you know what okay this is for football though what about all the other sports what are all the but, other sports but doing er, every sport is doing it though you ain't getting a special gym for basketball L- listen all of this ties in because <laughs> as a ba- let, let's take Clemson's head basketball coach right you don't think he gonna walk his kids over to the football facility oh, and let them I play would. laser tag and let, let, let them something. see that? Let me tell you something. If I was up there, hey, every sport, we let's go. Oh, without a doubt. And again, you take Golf Oregon team, tennis team. Let's go. So the 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 new facility that Oregon built houses every sport. Well, that one's Nike. So clearly, it houses every sport. They doing every sport. Every sport. And now the basketball team. So now, to find a full run. so now we getting ready to move from creating it for football, like how it has been done at some of the schools, to opening up this. Facility for all sports, right? That's and and you're now, ready to get into. And, and again, think about this: Kansas football program hadn't been relevant in years. They just decided they're gonna break two hundred million. They're gonna spend two hundred million. They're gonna upgrade the stadium wow. and add new facilities to their campus. Well, because again, like you said, that does attract a better player. Hopefully, right. they can turn their program around and put them back on the map again, right. or put them, you know, back in front of everybody again. Right? If if anybody shiny things, shiny things, anybody take a trip to Athens, the first thing they're going to do at UGA walk you into the new indoor practice. Oh, that's the first thing they did with me, and I I didn't have a kid. I guess they were like, she can go back to the school and tell them. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I walked around. I'm all in the offices and everything. 
shiny things, people. And y'all wonder why kids uh, are up in the air about going to this school. Every time you take a recruiting trip, the next trip will be better because somebody else has something else to Karen offer. I'm going to have to tell you about her, her Auburn recruiting trip she went on. <laughs> oh, can't wait to hear about this, y'all. It's the crush, baby. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sensation Station, Wealth Nation collaboration, celebrating seven years going hard in Always Radio. The Go Hard, Go Home Summer Series returns and kicks off at Red Martini Live July 6th with multi platinum selling artist Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker performing all those hits with the celebrity red carpet brought to you by The Hype Magazine. It's no, no limit, 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 limit. The Hype Magazine, Wealth Nation, and Sensation Station Network. Celebrating seven years goes hard July 6th at Red Market Lounge. Tickets only ten dollars. Get more info at ssnatl.com. I know you got a man and all. Indoor baseball, anyone? Most party fouls are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Great leaders aren't born. They're made. And not just anywhere. They're made in special places by special qualified trainers. In places like the Academy of Creative Coaching. The Academy of Creative Coaching is an international certification program with courses in health and wellness coaching, spiritual coaching, relationship coaching, executive coaching, life coaching, and cultural competency coaching. Courses are online, hybrid, or face-to-face. The Academy of Creative Coaching is empowering coaches to empower the world. Make a positive change in yourself and the world. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com. My savings are gone. Okay, where were they last? Here, right before I spent them on the vacation to Aruba. Weird. Not weird. Not saving now means no money later. For free ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. This is Blasia Clarendon, point guard for the Atlanta Dream, and you're listening to The Crush on Sensation Station Network. We have ignition. Yes, sir. We're back. So something we're going to do a little different today as we get ready to go into uh, the school year that's coming up. The recruiting process kind of starts over just a tad. So we get these crazy inbox messages, uh, tweets, IDM, everything. So a couple of questions I'm going to pull up. And Wendy, you know, of course, they're really for you. But um, so... Question number one that we got today, well, we got it last week, but we brought it to the show today. How can I get my athlete to understand it's more to recruiting than seven on seven and social media? You know, my first thing is this is something that should have been instilled a long time ago because the first thing that they need to be concerned about as a student athlete is their grades. Their grades. Nothing is possible without their grades. Right. And I think that's something that you have to instill from a very young, young age. Mm -hmm. Like, from the time they start school, you know, you have to set your expectations and leave them there. And if if, if by chance, you know, maybe they've fallen off the path because that's what kids do when they get to high school. Without a doubt. That's what I'm guessing has happened. Mm -hmm. You know, it's time for you to sit down now right now because school is not in right now and have that talk about expectations and uh, just like we did the other day we had all three of our girls sit down at the kitchen table and we told them to write down both their short and their long term goals they had to be academic and um, sport you know your sport so keeping all those things in line and making sure that you stress the importance of athletics make sure you show them that scale show them mm. that scale of what what their gpa needs to be and what their sat or act score because some of that stuff you know it's in black and white and it becomes reality at that point and you know now if i don't have this that i'm surely can't get this score right and right. that is going to let them know you know where they where they stand where they're able to go because some schools are a little more difficult to get into than others and we've talked about that um so first make them understand that you know they're a student first mm-hmm. you are a student first and an athlete second mm-hmm. after that okay first of all we've already talked about seven on seven and how um what, what's the word we want to use for that how we <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that that's that game situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That just it's, it's just like, summer conditioning. It's like touch. Yeah, it, it, right. It, it, the game is not played it, like that. The game is not played that way. The game is way more aggressive, and there's way more players on the field. You know, it's just a different situation, and they can't believe that they. You know, everybody. A lot of people can be seven on seven all stars. Yeah, but yeah. you get to game time, it does not translate. So make sure that what you're doing in seven on seven is going to be able to translate to what you're able to do on the field in a game situation yeah. Friday night. Yeah. Um, and then with social media, I was, you know, I you don't know, like social media. Yeah, it's for, we, for we kids. Right. For kids, right. I don't. I don't. I don't believe in it because I just think that you know it's so many other things out there. You know why are you on social media all the time? Why are you not out working out? Because every time you <laughs> on social media, it's somebody else that's trying to get here. better. It definitely needs to be monitored and kind of piggyback what you're saying. This is the parents' job. Yeah. This is the parent. This is like you just say, sit your child down and understand. Look, this is what we're trying to get accomplished. Expectations. This is what we're trying to get accomplished. Your grades first. You can't do anything. I don't know how many times we can say that you can't do anything without that grade piece. That's the first thing they come and ask for. And as far as what I would say to social media, I say, hey, let, let's not worry about it. Right. Let, let's let's not worry about. It. Let, let's put it down and let's really focus on the season that's coming up. Because I mean, every time you put that blessed to receive, right? Come on. If anything, use it as a marketing tool for yourself right. to keep retweeting your highlights, or you know, to talk about something that happened at seven oh seven, or right. to talk maybe even say something good about one of your teammates. You know, because people like to see that you're able to look at other people and say that you see them doing well also. Mm -hmm. um, so, if anything, teach your kid to use it in a positive way and make sure that your kid is not private from you. Because that, that is a no-no. If they blocking you, they're hiding some. Uh, we got to give a quick shout out to Scotland County. That's where the home of Zeus. Oh, yes. They shout checking out. in. The crush appreciate you. We Let do. Zeus know when he get to the A. We got him covered. We do. We got him covered. But it, it, let me ask you this, Kenneth. <laughs> During the season, you use social media as an athlete? You, you. I use social media as an athlete, yes. Um, but within reason, I recognize it's like nothing on the internet is private. And I feel like people don't know that. Like, even if your page <laughs> is private, it's really not private. And people can, it's really not people private. can get access to your page. Everything that you sign up on Instagram, Twitter, all them little terms and agreements that you don't read, they own everything right. that you have on the So it's internet. really not that private. No, it's not. Like, if somebody really wanted to get into your page, all they got to do write Twitter, be like, I really want to see so and so's page for XYZ reasons. And if it's a valid reason, Businesses, uh, coaches, whoever want to see it, can they see might it. release it. Right. So I mean, I use social media, but I know when to not to the be on social media. The rule I give is, if you don't want it on the front page of the news, don't post. That's it. a good rule. Hey, when we come back, couple more questions, man. It's the crush. online you can be a witness and make a difference by letting the world know it isn't cool and by letting your friend know you care learn more at eyewitnessbullying.org brought to you by the ad council i am an american soldier i'm a warrior and a member of a team i serve the people of the united states and live the army values i will always place this first i will never accept defeat i will never accept defeat I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert and I am a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the, the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. I am an American soldier. They're strong and there's Army strong. See what it takes at GoArmy.com. 
It's a sensation station, Wealth Nation collaborate, celebrating seven years going hard in Always Radio. The Go Hard, Go Home Summer Series returns and kicks off at Red Martini Lab. July 6th with multi platinum selling artist Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker performing all those games with the celebrity red carpet brought to you by The Hype Magazine. It's no, no limit, 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 limit. The Hype Magazine, Wealth Nation, and Sensation Station Network celebrating seven years goes hard July 6th at Red Martini Lab. Tickets only ten dollars. Get more info at ssnatl.com. I know you got a man and all. Major key alert. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it. So make it. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Brought to you by Get Schooled and the Ad Council. Driving has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more text-free driving tips, visit StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's first computer. I want to be a place on a cold I want to be a football stadium. I want to be a bike that races around the country. I want to be a bench on a forest trail. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. This is Judge Hatchet, and you're listening to The Crush on SSNATL.com. Oh, uh, we're the... Cr- uh, what are we at? Look. <laughs> See, I'm laughing at Blake. Yeah, you laugh, you're right. It's my fucking playing. playing. I'm laughing at Wendy. <laughs> we're in the Crush Recap brought to you by... Blunt Power. With Blunt Power, three sprays last for days. You can check them out on their Instagram, all the social medias, Blunt Power. And you can find out more about... Blunt Power. Hey, man, just go check them out, man. So now that we got that out the way... That strawberry smell good. Strawberry smell. I, I thought it was pineapple guy. I like both of them. Okay. You I'm can go, mix it. I'm going. I'm going. She like vanilla pineapple. That's the good one. I'm, I'm going. Okay. okay. Last question before we get to Kennedy, and then we get Cameron to tell us her her recruiting story. Parent wanted to know. I attended a college camp. I haven't heard anything from the school that we attended. What is my next move? Move on. <laughs> move on. Okay. Okay, a couple questions. One, did you notify the coaches that you were coming prior to signing up for the camp? Well, they went camping, so uh, clearly, hopefully, they they hopefully they let somebody so, know they were there. Because well, the question is, were you invited or did you just you go? Because sometimes you're invited, and yeah. then some people just, you can just go online and sign up. Right. Um, so that's one of the things. But then, two, you have to ask yourself, were you in contact with one of the coaches? No need to be the head coach. I tell people to talk to them, you don't have to talk to the head coach because right. they're really busy. Right. Um, but were you in contact with the coach prior to attending? Did they know you were there? Because, you know, sometimes it's so many people that end up coming that if they don't know to look for you, then you're just grouped in with a whole bunch of kids. Okay. So that's two. Brutal honesty from, from the coach and me. When I saw this, the first thing I said – Clearly, you didn't stand out at the camp. You heard me say move on. Right. <laughs> What's my next one? Move on. Move on. Right. Um, And this is the thing. So, if you did either one of those things, so if you did contact, if you didn't contact and no one has contacted you yet, I would say that that school is probably not the school not, not for, you. for your child. And, understand, and that's okay. And understand, it's 937 schools out here that's that giving scholarships. Okay. Right. Move on. Move on. Move on. Love who? Love who love you, baby. Right. And so, in, in that instance, I would say if someone hasn't contacted you back, if they haven't reached out, if you haven't, you re, you've reached out and still haven't heard anything, it's, it's okay. Time, it's okay. It's time to, like, yeah. okay, what was, cross that one off the list cross and go on to another list. one. There are so many schools out there and there's so much money available. Don't get hung up Don't on get hung one up school. on one school. Don't. I'm going to take one school to love you. 
it only one and when that one what does other offers may come so this school actually may end up coming back around but right now from what they saw on that particular day you you weren't you ready you didn't cut the mustard and 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 i tell people this all the time like even when you look at taking a test Okay, when you take a test or, or like an SAT or SAT, that's a snapshot of what you did on that particular day during that particular time period while you were sitting there. Now you may take the test again right. and do better or worse, right? Right. So it's the same thing. You went out there on that particular day, you might not have had your best performance on that day. That doesn't mean that you won't do better at another camp. It doesn't mean that you might not do worse at another camp. It doesn't mean that you don't play well on the field. That was just a snapshot of that particular day at that particular camp. And you were up against some other kids that you don't play with all the time. Parent, there it is. Kennedy, what did you learn today? <laughs> what did I learned today? Um, I'll say continue in that process of doing what you love. I feel like our guest today, Mati, right? Mati. Right. All right. So Mati. she uh, gave a lot of good info. I think not only for kids out there, but everybody in general, try to do what you love. And that's the only way you're going to work hard at it if you enjoy doing it and it's going to be easy. So. That's what I try to do as a college student who's picking their major and trying to do something that I love. That way I don't end up switching my senior year, you know, doing stuff that's just like I enjoy. And I think that's a good little tea for everybody. Just continue to find it. something that you want to do that you like mm-hmm. to do. So that way you can work hard at it. I love it. Yeah. Cameron, talk about your recruiting trip to Auburn. My turn. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So hmm, we were at Jaden's from Luke. Uh huh. Mm. My me and my dad got bored. Uh huh. It was too hot, so I left. I went to the gym. Of course. So we, when we first got there, we wanted to know if Coach Flo was in the office. So we just walked upstairs. When the office asked, we said, "Yeah, you can go back there." Walked right, back, right walked back there. I got two of the things that you fill out when you get recruited. Questionnaire. They didn't questionnaire. They put her questionnaire in the cab. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I filled out one of them, kept the other one for myself. Okay, okay. Now, Spent some time with Coach Flo? Yeah, we, we hung out with Coach Flo, but before I went to go see Coach Flo, Uncle Doug um, was down there. They were down there for team camp. Huh? They, had a team, they were at a team camp. Okay. So then after that, when we saw him, we called my mom, and my mom came over there, and my mom wanted to meet, meet Coach Flo because she wanted the job. So you may you may wow. you may wow. you all okay. okay. Just don't get all out right there. There. Okay. That's why you can't ask kids too many questions. Basically. Right. Okay. So yeah. We're, let me we're, finish. Let me finish. Hold on, because we run out of time now. So then Let's my go. mom. So me and my mom, we went up there. We just walked right in the office, went mm-hmm. right on back there. And then, and then you my didn't. mom talked to her, and then we went downstairs to watch um Weaver play. Yeah, and you didn't. The end. And, and, and you, uh-huh. didn't, you didn't bring your uncle a uh, Auburn t-shirt, but that's okay. Uh, hey man, we'll quick again, quick shout out to Zeus family. They've all checked yes, in now, please. man. Listen, I love, I, man, I love this kid's story. Listen, These folks need to go out here and read about this kid and what he's done. If if you guys, if all you recruit nuts, don't just be happy this kid signed. Well, he's committed to Georgia. Committed. Go back and read this kid's story and understand what's on the way to Athens, Georgia. Yeah, I love it. Understand that. Zeus. This, this, this is the kind of kid I like. I like them all. This is the kind of kid I like. I stand on the table for this kid. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I will have my, I can break out my number three jersey uh, from UGA again. Because <laughs> like that's the number Zeus will be wearing. Hey man, yeah, great I'm gonna, show I'm, today. I'm gonna come check y'all out too. Yo, cause we, cause we got children we down there. We got children already down there. We got so children I'll be up there at Auburn to come. I mean, at uh, Georgia to come check yeah, you say, out. Don't, don't say Auburn. I'm gonna be talking about Auburn. Yeah, hopefully gonna run for 200 against Auburn. Hey, I got a kid at Auburn too, though. Now come on. Hey, he got he got to deal with Zeus. Yeah. He got to deal with Zeus. Yeah. He on defense. Too. He played defense. Wow. Woo! wow. Uh, by that time of the season, by the time Georgia Auburn play. Yeah, he probably and already that game been at, is intense. He probably already be about fourteen hundred yards Ooh, by that time. Don't do that. Don't do that. Freshman of the year. We ain't trying to put you more pressure on you, Zeus. We ain't trying to put you more pressure though. on you. But those are the expectations when you uh check into running back university. <laughs> Have a great show today, man. Shout out to Kennedy. Yeah, thanks. Thank yeah. you, Cameron, for telling us your recruiting story as you get ready to head to the fourth grade. You are welcome. It's never too early. Never too early. Exposure is welcome. key. Welcome. Exposure is everything. Hey. Shout out to Mati for coming in. She's great. She's great. 
I'm not going to embarrass good. myself Try to pronounce her last Speaks name Speaks well Cameron say her name for us Matia Javon There you go <laughs> Wendy Thank you for always dropping knowledge Man thank you Maceo Hey man Y'all have a great weekend We'll see y'all Monday Peace Goodbye everybody